Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewelry. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pendant. It's quite a masculine one this week. I've put a list in the description below of everything you'll need and there's all the usual links. I've put Facebook, Instagram, and there's a link to my Etsy shop where I sell all my written tutorials. So if you get a chance, pop over and have a nosy. I have one in a sale at the moment. To make this pendant, you'll need 0.8mm wire, that's 20 gauge. And I've cut two lengths at 10 inches, that's 25.5 centimetres. I've got weaving wire at 0.315mm, that's 28 gauge. And I've wound 300 centimetres onto my bobbin. If you don't have a bobbin, you can cut lengths as you go. This is a Bobby's bobbin by Beadsmith. I've got a little marquise shape stone. You can use an oval if you like, or a long oval would be ideal. Mine is 35 millimetres by 12. Tools, I've got pliers, round nose pliers, wire cutters, nylon pliers. If you don't have nylon pliers, don't worry. I just use these for compressing in, compressing weaves and straightening wires. All my tools at the moment are tonics. If you want to see what I'm using, I've put a list, I've put a list of everything in the description below. So we're going to start weaving about four and a half inches from the beginning of your wires. That's 11 centimetres. And we're going to start with three wraps around the bottom wire. And then three wraps around both wires. And we're going to repeat that about 15 times. So I've done 12 repeats of that. And I think I'm just going to stick with the 12 because that's what I wanted. I wanted an inch of weave and that's an inch there. So 12 repeats of that weave. I'll cut that from the beginning, making sure it's all pressed together. So now we're going to bend the weave. Put a nice loop in that weave. And then I'm going to bend the wires down so we've got a loop and then all those wires now sit next to each other. So now we're going to weave across all four wires. So we go once around the bottom two, come up between those two, and then we go once around the middle two, come up between those two, over the top, so you've gone around the top two, come up between the bottom two, so we've gone around the middle two. And then around the bottom two again. So you go around the bottom two, around the middle two, around the top two, back around the middle two, and then around the bottom two. And that's our repeat.
So what I've done about one and a half centimeters of weave there. And I'm just going to finish with a few wraps around the one, the bottom wire, just to finish off that weave. And keep pressing your weave together as you go. So this is going to sit about there. So if your stone is bigger than mine, you need to work like just over halfway down, sort of. three quarters of the way down so when you get to here we're going to part the wires directly out so now we're going to carry on weaving on this side for a little bit and our weave is going to go over the opposite wire and around, under the bottom wire and around that one. So we go over the top wire and around the top wire, under the bottom wire and around. Another way of looking at it is over the top wire, come up in between, over the top wire, under the bottom wire and around the bottom wire. So I've done about a centimetre of that weave and I'm now going to cut my weaving wire but I'm going to leave some still attached. So I've left about 12 inches still attached to the wire. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reattach to this other side and I'm going to do this same weave for a centimetre on that side and I'm I'm gonna well, I'm not gonna cut the wire just yet but so we're gonna try and match it up we want a centimeter of weave on this side so I've done about a centimeter of weave on that side as well so reposition the stone you just want the peak sticking through the hoop there And then where the wires come out at the bottom, oh, you to try and hold it still where you want it to be. You have to bend the weaves over the stone and it's hard to show you and bend the wires without making them all wobbly. So these wires are going to come up and they're going to cross over each other and where they cross that's where I want the weave to stop. So I need to weave just a little bit further on both sides so that where the wires cross when it's flat the weave stops. So I'm going to weave a little bit more. So I've added a little extra weave to both those sides just a little bit just a few repeats. stone back in I want the stone to sit about there at the top so those both come in now where I want them to so as they come together 
going to cross the wires over. Can you see that? So that as they cross over each other, they kind of weave together a little bit. So we've got that. You've got to keep the stone exactly where you want it at the loop. And then we want that at the bottom there. So now we're going to carry on weaving. So I don't know if we can yeah, what we'll do, to the wire that's on this side will now use on this side and we'll use this wire on this side. So that's the one with my bobbin. And I'm just going to carry on that weave that we did there along these two. And just weave along those two wires. So I've done that same weave over these two wires until my wire is quite short. And I'll do the same over these two as well. I'll continue that weave using this wire. So I've cut this weaving wire to be 12 inches. Because if I'm going to start weaving over there, I want this to go through there. I need it to be at the back of the weave. So I've just cut my bobbin off. So because my wire's now on that side, and I've posted it through, I'm going to go around the bottom wire, around both wires, around the top wire, around the bottom wire. I'm thinking you've got the knack of this weave by now because we've done so much of it. So we're going to continue that weave across those two wires. So I've done those weaves, I'm sure that one's a bit longer. And pop the stone back in. I can always take some off in a bit if I need to. So push the stone down into place. And we're going to carry on taking these weaves around to the back. And it's got to be nice and tight. So when you've got the shape how you want it, it's nice and taut the back to so the top wire which is going to pull up here out of the way and the second wire I'm going to cut a little bit of length off of it I'm going to make sure that I've got a gap behind my stone there that it can go around and then I'm going to bend that wire I'm trying to hold it all in place as I'm doing it I'm sure it's all going to move around and I'll have to adjust it again anyway but the idea is that we want to pop this wire around the big weave at the back there So I'm just going to leave it loose for now so I can tighten it up together when I do the other one as well. So the other one, again I'm going to keep the top one, 
pull that up out the way and then the second one I'm going to do the same thing cut a little bit of length off and wrap this wire around that middle part as well so I've pulled those wires around that middle section they're quite hard to pull around actually as you can tell by all my marks in the wire And then I'm going to cut the end off and post the last little bit back around. Just cut a little bit off there. And wrap that last little bit around. Squeeze in place and I'll do that for the other one too. So I've secured those two wires. And now these two come straight up. Looking back at the front now, these two wires are going to crisscross across that very top of the wire. So if you're using a, um, an oval shape, you'll have to miss this bit and just have a big cross in the middle of it. So I've aimed those wires to go to finish the bottom of that weave there. And then holding the front in place, I'm going to wrap those wires around that original loop there at the top. And I'm not going to pull it tight yet because I don't want to pull it to one side or pop the other wire through too. Oh, something a bit different for you this week. I thought I'd do a men's pendant because we're always doing ladies' pendants. We're kind of leaving the men out a bit, so we'll do quite a masculine one this week. So I'm going to keep pulling these wires tighter so it's nice and tight around the top of that stone there. So I'm happy with the shape there at the front, so I'm going to finish off these wires. So I've just finished those off at the back in the end. And then I'm going to have to go and find a jump ring. So I'm just going to pop a jump ring on the top of that. needs an oxidized now so there we have it oxidized i hope you found this tutorial easy to follow and i didn't confuse you too much and please don't forget to mention me uh, when sharing your finished work online and please subscribe if you haven't already and thanks to everybody who has i'll see you in the next one